Hey guys, today we are going to make potato chips. These are normal russets, okay? Nothing fancy. So I actually slice them relatively thin. Okay, after you chop them, put them in the microwave. For about two minutes. looking for is a discoloration. They look um, possibly clearer. They get bubbly like that. Um, they get dry looking. They're definitely hot. So I'm going to actually show you two different ways. So what we're going to do is I actually have a Cuisinart um, deep fryer. Um, you just stick them in one by one. That's one way, right? Okay, second way. My partner does not like it that way. Why? Don't know. It's olive oil, and I use vegetable oil in that. Let me move them around a little bit. At Walmart, they have this, it's called Durkee's Grill Creation, St. Louis style chicken and rib rub. I hope that comes in. It's a 6.25, I think it's like two bucks or something like that. This is amazing on chicken and pork and beef and you know what, on these. So when these are done, which they look like, they're actually almost there. Okay, see, the difference is, is these are extremely fast. Looks like they're done. That was that, right? Yum. These are still cooking. Okay, guys, these are ready. Hope you can see both. Pan angle. Okay. This is made with olive oil. That's made with vegetable oil. The reason why you would microwave it is because um, it cuts down. Because if you microwave them for two minutes and then do this, you're only cooking them for what? Two minutes in the, bar, in the fryer, maybe three, maybe four, okay? If you did it just plain cook, put in there, you're looking at 15 to 20 minutes. I'm sorry. I like a little time saving going on on me. Never thought I love with that. Don't know why. When you go to Costco, don't buy the spices. Or if you do, buy small containers at Walmart. They're like a dollar. I think they're 99 cents, sometimes 50 cents. Or if you can go to, you know, close out or or somewhere where like that, okay? But what I'm saying is you're not gonna use all those spices. Every spice in my cabinet is less than six months old. And that's what it is, is you gotta keep them for only six months because afterwards they start losing the flavor. So please don't buy them. And if you do, share your spices because you're only supposed to have your spices for at bare minimum six months. So everything that's in this cupboard right here is less than six months old. And if I know that I buy a big enough jar, because I do, I, I gotta admit, I buy, you know, huge, huge containers. What I do is I actually split it up among friends. All right, there's your tip for the day. Bye.